keeping your eyes open, you know, and I think thinking about um, kids in schools, you know, and the, and the cost of being in school. If you're going to buy pizza for your kids on pizza day, maybe chip in so that somebody else can have pizza too because that's a stigma for that kid in that classroom that they don't get to have pizza day with everybody else. They may be the only kid in the classroom. If you're having a community event, you know, not having a, a huge cost associated to it, you know, just so that people can be part of community activities. Um, so whether that be through churches or through school groups or other nonprofit groups, sporting groups, um, thinking about what's your subsidy application process, is it really um, a stigmatizing process, does it give people dignity to go through that process, how can you make it easy for kids to participate in, in community life. So there's a lot of different opportunities. Um, just about being sensitive about it, yeah, I think. Yeah. Particularly, you know, sports uh, sometimes can be really big, and, and some of the costs at this time of year when you're looking at something like hockey, that can be fair, fairly expensive. And so how do we engage uh, people? And, and, say, and, and I know that uh, my, my son, both my sons play hockey, and I know that there was a father two, a couple years ago who was gathering together hockey equipment so that people that couldn't afford the hockey equipment could at least, you know, there's that one piece of... Uh, piece of the pie that they that's offset so that they can participate and so that all kids can participate in in the community because it, it really builds the community when when everyone can participate